So when it comes to testing in Angular, be it with Karma or Jest, you might have come across different ways of handling async situations. And so there is the fake async, which is, allows you to have more fine-grown control over like the timer. Um, but today we're mostly focusing on the wait for async and the async that previously got exported from Angular Core testing, but also the async await statement, which is native to JavaScript. So let's have a look. So I have seen code where the async statement is being used, exported by Angular Core testing. Now, as you can see, the async statement has been deprecated in Angular version 11 and it will be removed with Angular version 12. And so the recommended alternative here is wait for async. And so let's change this to wait for async. And these work the same way. So this is a direct replacement. The only reason why the previous async exported by Angular Core testing has been deprecated is because it might cause confusion in people compared to the actual async await statement that is native to JavaScript. And so basically what we could do here, for instance, is we could just remove the wait for async and turn it into the actual async await statement being native in JavaScript. So what is the main difference? Well, here we have perfect control over the whole scenario. So the evade async is really just a nicer syntactic way to handle promises and asynchronous execution. So here, for instance, the compiled components returns a promise. And so we want to definitely make sure that we don't continue the execution until that promise has resolved. And so the await statement here allows us to wait for that promise to be resolved and then continues. And the async is then used in order to tell JavaScript, look, this is an async function, so make sure you properly handle that scenario. Now, when should I use the wait for async versus just a native async await statement? Well, the, the main question is whether you have full control over the async operations. Now here in the testbed, we know this is the only async call that is being made, and so we can definitely use async await. There might, however, be other situations within your specific test cases where you invoke a component, where you invoke a method call on a component or a service that internally triggers other calls, like HTTP calls or timeouts, which you don't have any control over. And so you cannot really use the async await statement there, but rather what you can do is you can use the wait for async in those scenarios, wrap your entire test case into that wait for async, and that would actually then use zone to trigger and handle all async tasks that might happen within that actual invocation. And so that will make sure to wait properly and to not have a test case that is flawed because it runs through because it has async and oper asynchronous operations and does always succeeds. So to be sure, think about whether you can handle all the async scenarios within your test case. If that's the case, definitely use async await. And we are definitely sure and safe to use that for the configure testing module. And if you have doubts within your test cases that some internal callbacks might result into asynchronous operations, you can always fall back to the wait for async.